It's unfair on those who play by the rules. It's unfair on the British people. So we must change the law and we must stop the boats. Now, Mr Speaker, for too long, those of us voicing concerns about the effects of uncontrolled, unprecedented and illegal migration have been accused of inflammatory rhetoric. But nothing, nothing is more likely to inflame tensions than ignoring the public's reasonable concerns about the current situation. The public are neither stupid nor bigoted. They can see firsthand the impact on their communities, and it's irresponsible to suggest otherwise. And speaking of acting responsibly, Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to put something on the record. It's perfectly respectable for a child of immigrants like me to say that I'm deeply grateful to live here, to say that immigration has been overwhelmingly good for the United Kingdom, but that we've had too much of it in recent years. And to say, and to say, and to say that uncontrolled and illegal migration is simply bad. I'm grateful to my right honourable friend. Does she agree with me that in the last couple of years where we've seen exponential growth in this human trafficking coming across the channel, that actually what's happening is the money that people who can ill afford to spend on these criminals is being used to make their trade even more effective, putting yet more lives in danger. My right honourable friend puts it very well. We have now a sophisticated, well-resourced, multi-billion pound trade of illegal people smuggling and human trafficking. It is pan-national and it needs to stop. But to say, I, I'm going to make progress. Um, it is, and yet, Mr. Deputy Speaker, like, despite our reasonable concerns that we have raised on several occasions, like my right honourable friend, the member for Whitham, before me, I am subject to the most grotesque slurs for saying such simple truths about the impact of unlimited and illegal migration. The worst among them, poisoned by the extreme ideology of identity politics, suggests that a person's skin colour should dictate their political views. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I will not be hectored by out of touch lefties or anyone for that matter. I won't be patronised. I won't be patronised on what appropriate views for someone of my background can hold, and I will not back down when faced with spurious accusations of bigotry.